Derby County have had a huge boost in injury news over the past 24 hours. In Paulan's press conference, he mentioned that James Collins and Nathaniel mendez Langer could be available for the upcoming fixture on Good Friday against Blackpool, and that is absolutely massive. Shall we get into the injury list at the moment and how the impact of James Collins and Nathaniel mendez Langer coming back will impact the squad? So here is the current injury list, and I've got a few updates on some of these players too. Obviously, Sonny Bradley is injured. Uh, Josh Vickers has returned training with the squad, according to Paul Warren. Uh, Max Bird should be back available for the Wickham game. Uh, Tyrese John Jules could potentially be in and around it before the end of the season, but nothing confirmed as of yet. And Tom Barkazen and Dwight Gale are around two to three weeks away. Now, this could be absolutely massive. In two to three weeks, we'll be left with, I believe it's three games left, I think, because it'll be after Wickham. So I believe when we head into those last few weeks of the season, we could have essentially the majority of the squad back. I think Forsyth is a little bit longer. I didn't really mention much about him. Obviously, Rooney, we know, is sort of done this season. Uh, Tyrese Fauna, no real mention of him recently. Um, but hopefully we can see him back soon. And obviously, we know Ryan Niambi is out until the end of the season. Now, let's take a look at the systems that are set up with the injuries of Nathaniel Mendez Lang and James Collins, and let's see how they could be impacted with them being able to return to the squad. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in this top corner to stay tuned to all the latest Derby County and Formula One content on this channel. Make sure you let me know down in the comments your team predictions heading into the Blackpool game. Do you think the injury crisis is reducing or do you think we're going to struggle over the last six games of the season? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So obviously, you'll see on the bench, I have now added in James Collins and Nathaniel mendez Lang. Now, personally, in my personal opinion, I don't think either will start. Now, Paul Warren did mention in his press conference yesterday to Dominic Dietrich of BBC Radio Derby that James Collins is pushing for a start. However, I think it is just a little bit too soon. I wouldn't want to rush him in and then have him break down again. So I get the impression that uh, Collins and Mendes Lang will both be kept on the bench um, with the intention of saving them for Tuesday's really, really important game against Portsmouth, obviously a top of the table clash. Uh, I think it'd be a stupid decision to play uh, Collins from the off, have him get injured in the first half and then lose him again, um, especially when we're lacking those numbers up top with losing Gale. Obviously, we do have Washington back and Waghorn, but they're not quite of the same calibre for me as a Collins or a Gale. So, uh, and obviously, Mendes Lang, our, arguably our best player this season. Again, it wouldn't be one that I'd rush. Mendes Lang, arguably our best player this season, wouldn't be one that I'd rush back into the starting eleven, especially for Friday's game. Don't get me wrong, every game is important, but I would rather him sit on the bench and come on for the last half an hour if needed then start him and he breaks down in the first half. Obviously, it seems um, from Paul Warren's press conference that it's just a bit of uh, scar tissue that he's injured. So it's nothing major. The scan hasn't showed any proper damage or anything, according to Paul Warren. Uh, so it it's obviously good that he's available, but I wouldn't be forcing him into the team for the sake of it, if that makes sense. Make sure he's 100% before he plays. Um, obviously the same with James Collins, but this is how I'd see it set up still in the 4-2-3-1. No real changes. Obviously, uh, Elder was mentioned in the press conference having sort of a stop-start season. I'm not sure if that's a hint towards a potential injury. If that is the case, then I wouldn't play this lineup. Uh, but who knows? Hopefully he's available because we don't want to add another name to that injury list. Obviously, then we also have this 4-3-3. There's not a great deal that changes between uh, the setups and nothing really changes in the starting eleven because of these new injuries. Uh, well, new recoveries, let's say. But obviously, we both know where Collins could step in. We both know where Mendes Lang could step in. Obviously, you've got the likes of Washington available as well. Darren Robinson should be back. But whether he'll be involved, I don't know. Obviously, he had a big night for Ireland a few a few nights ago where they qualified for, I believe it was the under-21 Euros. So that'll be very good for him. But obviously, there's not really many options in our squad. And 
for me, I do personally think we're going to end up in this 4-3-3 that I'm showing on the screen right now. I think, uh, I, ju I just think it's best for what we have available. We've not really had a 10 all season. I know we've got Sibley, but he seems to perform better at left back than he does in the 10. And in, in a way, it's quite disappointing because he came through the academy as this goal-scoring machine, essentially. And then he's got to the first team, had a good six months, and then seems to have just like fumbled his way through. Now, he is out of contract in the summer. And will he be looking at that left back as a permanent move uh, to keep himself in the team and around Derby County? Who knows? But I do personally believe that we'll stick with sort of like a 4-3-3 uh, with obviously losing Sonny Bradley for the next three games through suspension, uh, which for me, I'm, I am very disappointed in Sonny Bradley. One of the most experienced heads in the team was the captain of Luton Town during their promotion season and, and before that. And it's like you're in one of their moments where it's sort of like the final kicks of the game and you lose him to a stupid mistake. Now, it's like, don't get me wrong, I understand there's passion involved in football. I think everybody understands that. But sometimes you've just got to use your head and I don't think he did in that circumstance. Now, I'm not going to write him off for the rest of the season, but I would be surprised if we went back to a back three when he was available. I do think it'll be a, a trust factor uh, in this because you get a red card in a game like that when... You've essentially lost because your last kick of the game anyway. It makes no difference. It's not like he was stopping uh, the opposition from scoring and keeping us in the lead or getting us a point. It's just one of those things. Now, obviously, we do have this final formation of the 4-4-2. Now, I do think that eventually we may see this once Collins is back fit. I think it'll be sort of like a Collins, Mendes, Lang, Ward, Blackett, Taylor. Um, and then like the front three sort of all rotate across sort of thing back at Taylor coming central Mendes Lang going out Ward coming central Ward going out because something I've noticed um, with Ward at right wing back is he does often come in really narrow and to be fair to you when he comes in narrow and picks up the ball he doesn't look like he's uncomfortable so for me having him in that uh, coming into the 10 role and the rotations between the three I think will be massively massively important but obviously, we've got a big game on Friday with Blackpool. If you haven't checked out my preview already, go and check that out. That will be linked in the video. It will have been linked in the video at some point. Um, so go and check that out if you haven't already. Obviously, it's going to be very, very difficult on Friday. So yeah, with that injury news, let me know down in the comments your team predictions do you think Mendes Lang and James Collins will start? Do you think they'll be saved for the upcoming game against Portsmouth and even the following game against Wickham? Obviously, the news about Max Bird returning to fitness is good news. He could be back in and around it for Wickham Wanderers. Now, I think that could be absolutely massive for the turning point of our season. With I think it'll be four games left when we get to Wickham. I think we have been missing uh, a proper dictator in that midfield. Now, Conor Horahan has done okay, but defensively he seems to get caught unawares sometimes and he just seems to be I'm not saying that he's a bad player by any means but I just think sometimes he's lacking a bit of a bit of legs a bit of pace to stick with some of the younger up-and-coming players in this league obviously it's a very physical demanding league and like sometimes those older players that are getting towards the back end of their career want to sort of dictate the play but I don't quite think we play a style which suits that at the moment now obviously Conor Horahan, very good at what he does when he gets the ball. And to be fair, when he gets further forward, I think he's brilliant. But I just don't quite think he's what we need in the midfield at the moment. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you think Conor Horahan, the captain, will be playing tomorrow against Blackpool? Let me know your score predictions and team predictions down in the comments. And I'll catch you in my next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula 1 and Football Weekend.